Hello everyone, you just caught me reading my silly sausage book there. Now there's nothing sillier than a sausage. Now my name is Liz Millian and I am here to do a little bit of drawing with you. And today it's all about being silly. Do you like my wobbly eyes? They're brilliant, aren't they? Do you like my spotty specks? Do you like being silly? Now this special video is to celebrate the Summer Reading Challenge 2020 in Northumberland Libraries. Now, I know we can't get into our libraries just yet, so we've decided to zoom out across the universe our fantastic silly videos like this. Now, it isn't really just a silly video. You are actually going to be learning something as well as having fun. And if you don't like what you've seen, I'm going to whack you with my big pink crayon at home. Rawr! I love drawing. I am an illustrator and an author. Now what I would like to do first of all is do some drawing for you and I'm going to show you how I would make up a crazy character and then we're going to do some drawing. Now you have got in front of you, you've got some paper with lots of S words on and you have this sheet here that I designed especially for Northumberland Libraries and you can have a little look at the end. So I suggest you go and grab your pencil and meet me in a second. <laughs> Did you get a pencil? Fantastic. You need some paper too. Now we are going to be super sleuths. Now this part of our tutorial we're going to have to be a little bit intelligent because I know I draw and paint and write stories all day and I do come across as being a bit of a wally but actually you have to have a little bit of cleverness about you so you're not always silly but sometimes when you do silly things uh, people think you're a bit of a wally but I draw all sorts of strange things so look here in my space cafe here I have got a lovely uh, poetry book that's just come out this year and if you have a look I was not expecting to draw a picture of Donald Trump can you see him there <laughs> so even though I have to draw crazy things like Donald Trump, I also have to do uh, animals on skateboards and motorbikes and I generally have to do exciting things all the time. Uh, very silly things quite often because it's for children's books. So what we're going to do, I am going to get my bits of paper here and I'm going to pop them on here. And you'll see my board has animal, name, setting, personality, activity, extra words, and it might be wearing a costume. So instead of just drawing a boring cat on a mat, licking its leg, we want to be able to bring a funny scene to life. Okay, now in my little lion bag here, I have got loads of different S named animals. So just for example, we've got sea turtle there, just to prove they're all different. They're not all just saying sloth. So I'm gonna dig my arm in here. I'm gonna pour it out. Now, if it's awful, we're still gonna have to draw it. Ah, oh, snake! Okay, I don't mind snake, but you can't actually get clothes on a snake. You can put maybe a bow tie on and this helmet or something, but you can't put trousers on a snake. Let's have a look. Oh, right then. Always wanted to own a sausage dog, so I'm quite pleased with that. So I can either choose snake or a sausage dog, but I think I might try and put both of them in. So while we have our pen, I'm gonna write sausage dog here. Now, I know they're called Dachshunds, but we've got a sausage dog. And on my list down here, you can see I have got different names. And I think I'm going to call him Sid. Sid the sausage dog. And the setting, let's have a look at a setting. It's an S sounding setting. So it could be a circus, a school, the seaside. He could be on a speedboat, living it up. He could be falling down the staircase. He could be going down the sewer. That's a horrible one. In fact, I think I have something for a sewer here somewhere. Oh, here we are, rat. We also have a spaceship, hmm. a submarine. I don't think a sausage dog in a submarine. It might be quite unusual. Sometimes it's quite good to get unusual ones. A supermarket might be quite good. Hmm, yeah, supermarket. So a normal setting. Or Sid the Sausage Dog. Supermarket! And we could also put our snake in the background going, oh, even though they don't have hands, do they? <laughs> It'll have to be his tail going, oh, 
personality. So let's have a look at our personality. Oh, I say. So we have got personality. Smiley, sassy, mm -hmm. stylish, stylish sausage dog. He could be silly, could be smelly, speedy. He might be speedy. I quite like speedy. So he's fast. But what's making him fast? What's making him fast? Is he just a fast runner? Has he got sweat bands on? Is he going to be, oh, I say, is he going to be surfing? Surfing through the supermarket. So it's all about S's. So I think on here it says, could he be spinning or juggling something? So could he be um, juggling sausages or uh, spaghetti? Could be scoffing spaghetti. He could be, oh, look, he could be snowboarding, skateboarding, skating. So why don't we draw him skating through the supermarket with a snake? Is he going to be wearing a space suit? No, he's going to be wearing a swimsuit. Okay, so now I'm thinking it might be a girl character. Or would it be even funnier to have a boy sausage dog in a frilly girl's swim costume? Of course it is. So I'm going over here now. So the activity, he's going to be skating. And he's also got a snake around his shoulders. He's got his swimming cosy, swimming cosy. And he's gonna be really, really fast. And look, we could put it on here. And he could also, what else could he be wearing? Some funny goggles. He'd be wearing frills. And he's obviously going to be wearing skates, isn't he? Okay, are you ready to try and draw this together? <gasps> get your pencils then, because I'm going to get a new bit of paper. So I'm going to rip this off now. Now, don't worry if you're thinking, I can't draw this. It's going to be easy peasy. So I'm going to pop this here and I'm going to look at it so we know what we are drawing. So get your pencil, get your piece of paper. And we're going to have a go at drawing a sausage dog. Now, first of all, I'm going to get my crayon. If you've got a pencil, uh, do it very, very lightly. So we have got a shape a bit like a chicken nugget. <laughs> and you can always pause this tutorial anytime and go back. Now, that is quite a tricky shape to start with. I'm going to give you a little black nose little Sid and we want it to have a bit of movement so we're going to draw his little ear going that way. Now I've never drawn this before so I'm thinking all the time and we are going to draw two eyes. Now sometimes I draw one eye and sometimes I draw two eyes. Now he's going to be silly so we're going to give him a silly face. He's got one eye going up and one eye going down. Um, we're going to give him a funny face. And is he going to be sticking his tongue out? Like, ah, ah, ah. It was going to eat some spaghetti, wasn't it? We'll see what happens. So I'm going to give him a funny mouth. And he's got his little licky tongue hanging out there. Okay, so we said he was going to have swimming goggles on. It's quite tricky, isn't it? So I'm going to draw another sort of baked bean shape over there, like a sort of swimming mask, like that. In fact, he could have a snorkel, couldn't he? Like a swimming goggles and a snorkel. So we're going to put a little pipe going up there. And it doesn't matter if it isn't going into his mouth. We sort of know what that is. Now we are just making this up as we go along. So I've got my character here. What about a funny swimming hat? That's always quite funny, isn't it? So we're gonna give him a swimming cap here. Oh, swimming caps are the worst, aren't they? They always pull your hair and yeah. Okay, I've got my character here. Now I'm not gonna put a big hairy face on like I would with a big bad wolf character because they're quite smooth. I know you get sort of scruffy little hairy ones, but I think we're going to keep him quite smooth. Now, we wanted a snake as a sort of, <laughs> just an extra, just something weird. So we're going to draw our snake. Uh, we're going to draw his 
body coming round. So that's his tail. And we're going to do a silly snake. Silly snake or a serpent. So we're going to come round. I bet you didn't think you were going to be drawing this today. No, neither did I. And that's the good thing about having a good imagination. You just make anything up and you should never be bored if you like drawing. So I'm going to come round here and his mouth it's going to be open. It's going to be going, ah! Now, our snake, he's not an evil snake. And he's got little eyes looking down. And he's got two fangs and a tongue. And they've got really special tongues. They're forked tongues. So we've got a silly serpent there. Now, what could we do to make him look silly? Because he looks just a little bit frightened at the moment. Could maybe put a top hat on him or um, a wig or, oh, let me look on our list, look. So it could be wearing his socks. Could it be wearing a sock? That would just look a bit weird. Uh, he could have a saucepan on his head. He could have, um, oh, he could have, he could be playing the saxophone. No, he hasn't got any fingers. He could be wearing, um, Oh, we could put a nice uh, sports outfit on him, like a sun hat. Oh, I know. What about one of those funny hats? So he's got a hat going backwards. And he's got a little fan going round like that. Can you see? And then underneath, he's going to come round like that. Now, we're going to do a very, very quick ziggy zaggy shape on like that. There we go. So our little snake is just resting on the shoulders. Now our sausage dog, if I'm not sure, I'm going to get my long body drawn on with my pencil. So do that really, really lightly. Now he was going to be wearing a lovely swimming costume, wasn't he? So he's got swimming costume on here. And when I was little, I had one that had frilly bits like that on. Can you see that frilly bit? So it's look a bit like a tutu, but it isn't. And we want his arms to be on there. So to make him look silly, they've only got very short little legs. Our sausage dogs. And is he gonna be scoffing spaghetti? Is that another weird thing we could make him do? So we can put lots of spaghetti coming out of his mouth. It looks a bit like a weird moustache. If you want to put a weird moustache on, you can do. I know you kids are crazy about moustaches. And I'm going to give him his hand looking like it's closed. So they look like a little sausage with three little sort of beans. And then you might want to draw a big sort of handful of spaghetti. So maybe he was going through the supermarket where they were testing things and he's grabbed some spaghetti. You want to turn it into a girl, you can do, but I think it looks quite funny when it's a boy. Okay, so we have got lots of weird things going on. We need his little legs, and they have got little tiny legs. And they always growl at me. Have you ever stroked um, a little sausage dog without it going <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, and he's got a little boot, first of all. And it's up to you if you want to do inline skates. You would probably draw about four. Uh, I'm going to do those old fashion retro ones that I used to like. So I'm just doing two circles like that. And again, you can always pause or rewind. You can always rub things out. Your brain, mine either, has not drawn this before. So you can't expect your brain to do everything. Now you can design your own swimming costume. You can design your own shoes. You can make him whatever color you like. You don't have to do a brown or a black one. You could do a blue sausage dog or whatever you like. And the other leg comes round like that. So you have got your wheels like that. And he could have some stripy tights on, couldn't he? Over his swimming cosy. Not that you would, because that's a very strange thing to do. So we could have done him skiing 
down the side of a skyscraper. <laughs> um, what we could do is put silly squad on there. We could draw him in the circus as well. And the good thing is, if you wanted to change your background, you can do if you think, actually, I'd quite like to see him down the seaside. Lots of old ladies going, Whoa! Or you could draw him in the circus, it's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to draw his little tail, his little tail would be up here. And we need some action lines, girls and boys. Now when you do action lines, make sure you put the cloud near his foot. Okay, don't put it near his bottom. <laughs> it looks like he's going for smelly. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to put some action lines here, whoosh lines, I haven't put the clouds, just the lines, you can do the lines, I might put some dripping sauce from the spaghetti, I might do lines here like that, he might also, oh we could put some specks on that snake, I'm going to put some specks on, <laughs> also on here we could put a satchel in his hand, uh, we could put a scarf. We've got a snake as a scarf anyway, haven't we? So look, you can always go back and have a little think about what else. You could also put, um, he could be holding a spider. There we go. I'm going to draw a little spider going, ah! <laughs> I told you this was going to be a weird, silly session, didn't I? So the little spider is screaming. Oh, poor spider. Okay, now, colours. Colours are quite difficult to choose which colours, but I think, because it's a silly squad, we're going to use the brightest colours. Now, he might be knocking over tins. Again, you can look on that list. There's lots of different foods on here. So he might be flying through loads of strawberries, cans of sweet corn. And this is a very quick picture, so he's going whack like that, okay? Uh, also, could be sausages, there could be sprouts going through sandwiches, soup. We could also put some shelves here like that. We could do somebody in the background going, oh, okay. We could put another animal in the background. If you go back to your animal look, snow leopard, sloth. Should we draw a little sloth going, ah! I know you all love sloths. Sloths are horrible, stinky things, but everyone loves them. Sorry if you like sloths. Now, our sloth, we're going to just draw a little hairy skittle. <laughs> that does look like a hairy skittle. We're going to draw its little nose. Like that. Now, this is getting really titchy tiny. Now, if you can't see that, I've drawn a nose like that and you're going to shade it in with your pencil okay then the eyes are going to be the same sort of level as your nose they've got very low down noses and they're going to be looking at our sausage dog skating and the mouth is going to be going Wah! like that <laughs> that does not look like a sloth. I'm not in a very good mood for drawing sloths today. And their arms are going to be going... Ah! And they've got little, like, black patches under there like that. Now, you probably can't see that, but it goes like that with these little claws. And you can get two-toed or three-toed sloths or sloths. And I'm going to make it into a lady. A lady sloth and she's got a lovely necklace on and she was just buying some su -su -su salad and some sandwiches when suddenly out burst Sid and the snake is called Seth so we've got Sid we've got uh, <laughs> Seth the snake we've got Sally the sloth <laughs> buying salad you could maybe label all the S's on here. That would be quite good. We've got Susie the Spider, who is wearing skis, 
So you can be totally silly with this, can't you? Now, that is one weird picture. How are we going to colour this in? Now, you can spend a long time colouring yours in. I'm going to do this really quickly. And I know if you've seen me at your school or in the library before, we have got all my gorgeous pens. I've also got these crayons and they're really good at letting me colour it. So I've got my pink tongue. I'm going to put a bit of pink in the mouth and a bit of pink in there. I always put rosy cheeks on my characters, even if it's a little spider. And then I'm gonna get my pink and give them a big frilly, girly sort of swimming costume. Now that does look like a ballerina's tutu, but what I'm gonna do is put lots of other sorts of things on. So I might put some like love hearts to make it a bit more girly. There's nothing wrong with being girly if you were a boy wanting to wear this. This is up to you. It is fine. I've got a lovely uh, earwax yellow here. Look, lovely. And uh, just to make it really bright, I'm going to put silly spot on there. I've also got my yellow, my tins of sweet corn. You can have a go at colouring whatever you like. Now, I've got a lovely um, turquoisey colour. I think I'm going to do um, a brown sausage dog just so we can really tell but if you wanted to do a lilac one or a pale blue one you can do because we are doing children's books uh, and we're doing a, a silly scene it can be any colour you like really and our little dog would have a little hairy chest but we're not going to worry about that and our little sloth is looking a bit like Mrs Chewbacca there. It's terrible. I think it's the nose. Do you know what? I haven't drawn a sloth for ages and sometimes I forget what they look like. So I'm going to do a gorgeous uh, sort of aquamarine blue helmet. And you can see I'm not being very neat and tidy, am I? Uh, I've got a nice pinky colour here. And my crayons just let me colour in really fast so I don't have to waste your time. There we go. Now our snake, I've got a lovely bogey green. And first of all, instead of just going around those triangles, I'm going to just put my crayon all the way over like that. Then I'd get my blue. You could do red. You could do any snake you like. If you wanted to do a coral snake or a viper, it's up to you. So there are all different types of snakes. I love snakes. I think they're just fantastic creatures. And some people are quite scared of snakes, aren't they? Can you see? Because I've done that green. It looks a little bit dark green. I wanted to do some scales on there. You can do. I've also got my cap to put on, my silly squad hat. And because you've got my sheets, you could come up with your own crazy ideas. Now, Mrs. Sloth has got a lovely red dress on over here. Can't have a naked sloth in your picture. You have to put clothes on everything. There she's going, what? And I could also put some red on my boots. And I love getting my black crayon. I've got my black crayon here. And I like looking and thinking, where the shadow is. So you might have shadow over here. You could have action lines with crash. Uh, oh, got a little brown tail there. We could also have slow down. <laughs> now, this picture here has taken us quite a while, hasn't it? I feel like I've had my back to you for ages. So when you're an illustrator, you can't just say, oh, that sounds a bit hard, I can't draw it. You have to draw whatever people ask you to do. So why don't you try that? Get a little bag or a box or something at home. Write a load of animals. It doesn't have to begin with an S. I was just doing a sort of silly squad theme. If you wanted to put elephants in there or hippos or giraffes, dogs, mix them all together and pull one out. So look, we could have had a spoonbill. Now that's a type of bird. I've also got a skunk and oh, I'm quite sad we didn't get that one, a yeti, a sasquatch. But there we go. So that is a really, really good idea. How did yours turn out?
sorry if it didn't go to plan and you need to go back and try again and rub it out. Remember your brain's never done it before. Do you like my squid hat? I know. I hope you've had a brilliantly silly time. You shouldn't be bored with lots to do on the Reading Challenge website. Have a little look. Go onto your library and you can still get books out. So thank you ever so much for joining me. Stay silly guys!